I made a huge transition when it came to my bodybuilding journey. I started off at 105 pounds and I got up to 140 pounds. Of course, not in the same year, but over time, I've definitely gained some fat and I've definitely gained some muscle. With that, I want to talk more about my bodybuilding journey because as you guys know, as you guys know, I am 13 weeks out from NPC Nationals and if you don't know, I'm Taylor Saylor. I compete in the NPC in the figure division. So with that being said, let's hop right into this video. I started off my bodybuilding journey at 105 pounds and it was my first year competing. I started my prep at 17 years old. I competed at 18 years old and I went to the bikini division. Of course, my goal has always been the figure division, but I knew I needed to gain a lot more muscle to be competitive. That's when I went into the bikini division and I got up to 125 pounds and then of course I did my first prep. What inspired me to compete was of course my husband and my dad. My dad always has trained and Matthew was actually prepping for a show at that time, so I figured let me just give this a try and I did and I fell in love with it immediately but my first prep was not perfect I was still in high school recently got engaged so should I share that anyway <laughs> I was in high school I was working full-time I was doing so much cardio and I was running so much because I played basketball and soccer I was also planning an entire wedding so there was a lot of factors that went into my first year of bodybuilding from there I knew that this is what I want to do I want to compete and I want this to be something serious so fast forward to show day I placed third and open and of course I'm not proud of how I looked but I'm proud of the experience because that's what kick-started me so after that show, I moved on to my figure debut. This prep was so much fun. I was 110% everything I did, and that was my first true prep that I'm proud of. It was amazing. The entire prep was just a great experience. That's when I actually started kind of blowing up on social media. Everything was on point, and it really showed. And that's when I'm like, figure is my class. I want to go pro. That's when I had the pro mindset that this is my goal now. So of course, each prep, I had a new goal. I had a new fire. I reflected on my entire prep. And of course, I made goals for my off season. When I competed at my second show, I placed first in Novice A, but this was a show that got me messed up. And here's why. So at athlete check-ins, I checked in. I signed up for open class A as well as novice A. They only put me in novice A. They never brought me out for open. I remember just like waiting to go out for open. I was lined up. I think there were just three other girls. It was a smaller show. There were just three other girls and I'm just waiting to be called out. The show kind of stops because everyone's just quiet. I guess they were expecting me to come out and again I look pretty good. Everyone was just so confused. It was quiet as a mouse in the auditorium. It was very awkward and it was very awkward for myself because I'm I'm like, bro, why am I not getting called out? Like, I just want to trot out there. They just never put my name down for open, which made it a very, very mentally tough situation for me because I want to be nationally qualified. Like, I worked this hard, been a 28-week prep. Why am I not being called out? I even talked to the promoter and he was like, look, there's nothing we can do about it now because we already gave the first place award out. So I talked to the judges. They just said, you can always bring more conditioning. I'm like, okay, great. I'll see you in eight weeks. And so that left me to the show. I got nationally qualified. Here's the issue with the show. I was not happy with my look. I was not happy with how I felt. I was not happy with how that peaking process went, which this wasn't totally my coach's fault because I did talk to my coach at the time. So our peaking approach was totally different and it wasn't completely my coach's fault at the time. It was definitely mine. Wasn't happy with that look. I came in soft. I came in full, but it definitely wasn't that conditioning that you needed. But I did end up winning that show. And although it wasn't something I was proud of, it definitely gave me a reality check that conditioning is something I need to prioritize. It definitely primed my body to be able to compete competitively now. So when my coach and I reevaluated things, I got nationally qualified, but I'm like, I don't want to leave this season on a bad note. And we're only two weeks out from summer shredding, so I want to push for summer shredding and make this the show that I'm proud of. This was a 36 week prep at the time and summer shredding was in two weeks so that made it a 38 week prep so then we pushed to my fourth show but my third show of my figure season and we competed at summer shredding 2022. 
Summer Shredding was a great experience. It was so much fun. It definitely lived up to its hype at the time. Now I do think it's kind of slowing down a little bit. I definitely competed at the right time and I couldn't imagine competing there now. I really couldn't. It was alive. It was awesome. The experience was great. The social networking was even better. It was more of a social event rather than a bodybuilding event, but I was very happy with the package I brought and by far, even to this day, this is my favorite package package I brought to the stage. After the season ended, I reflected and I'm like, I can do this. Like, I just did this for 38 weeks. Never in my life will I have to do a 38 week prep ever again. That's not the plan anyway. It was just all around a great experience. The real issue with my look, muscle maturity. I didn't have that and honestly, I'm still growing into that. I was only 19 years old and everyone and their mother was like, dude, you're a future pro. Not to like pat myself on the back or like pat myself up in any sort of way, but if they could see it and I could see it, I'm like, okay, I have potential in this sport. So I want to be able to make this happen. That's been my goal since my figure debut. I placed second at Summer Shredding and it was just a great experience. It left me feeling really good. Before I knew it, I'm here prepping for NPC Nationals and this was my fifth show and my body was not responsive at all. It was very tough because after summer shredding, after a long season of prepping the year before and unfortunately my coach decided to ghost me. It made my reverse tough because I just tanked my metabolism. I went from, you know, 800 calories to probably 2,500. <laughs> my body just like legit croaked. It was not responsive. That left last year's prep hard. He didn't necessarily know my body and that's my fault because I didn't give him enough time to. I just said, hey, I want to do this show. He's like, perfect. We can make that happen. And he, he actually like, he destroyed me and my body was just not being responsive the whole prep until four weeks out. Although my first national look wasn't something I was proud of, I still placed. I placed fifth and it was just a great experience. I almost want to compare it to the summer shredding show. NPC nationals is something I take serious. One, because it does qualify you for a pro card. Two, because it is the biggest national show. It didn't hurt when I placed fifth, I just knew that was well deserved. I didn't look terrible. We pulled it together at the very last second. It wasn't something I wanted my pro card to be attached to. It definitely gave me the experience. It gave me the vision. It got my feet wet. It, it gave me a lot of perspective. This year of 2024, I will be competing at NPC Nationals, working to earn my pro card. Because I've been working towards this for so long, although I've only done one national show, I feel like I've been working for it forever. The thing with that is that there are people out there that have been working to get their pro card for eight, nine, ten years. You don't just get a pro card, you have to earn a pro card. That's why turning pro is just such a big deal, especially now. I just want everyone to know I do not compete for the fad. If social media was completely out of my life, I'd still be competing. Is that if social media never existed, would you guys still be competing? Would you want to compete? To me, bodybuilding is so important to me. I love it, I love the challenge. I love the mental challenge, I love the physical challenge, and it's just truly part of my life. And I love living with structure. I love living with discipline. I love knowing that I give 100% effort each day. So yeah, I just, I compete to compete. I don't compete to fit in with social media. I don't compete for the fad. I don't compete, just say I competed because that's not it at all. I love the sport. I love my journey and the journey is not done. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.